Brooklyn Independent Television. With the holiday season in full swing, local food pantries are trying to prevent another shortage like the one last year. As Jenny Passe Rodriguez finds out, they're not the only ones taking steps to raise funds to keep food pantries stocked. She talks with some folks making it their mission to keep food pantries stocked not only during the holidays, but year round. Organizers of the Helping Hands Food Pantry's 5K run couldn't have asked for a nicer day at Prospect Park. It was great. It's a beautiful day out. The colors are still out, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. Some ran, others walked, and those who couldn't do either came along for the ride. But they all had one common goal, to raise enough money to keep the food pantry adequately stocked. My mom has been a volunteer at the um, Helping Hands Food Pantry for about six or seven years and it's a really good cause um, yeah but for the grace of God I can be on the receiving end of that and uh, I believe what President Barack Obama said we all need to give back to our community so I was more than happy to do this. The Food Bank for New York City estimates that nearly 60 percent of the city's food pantries ran out of food last year. They resorted to reducing the amount of food given per household cutting down on the number of days or hours of distribution, and some were forced to turn people away. Two small, two medium, one large. Marge Miller has been volunteering at the Helping Hands Food Pantry for more than 15 years. Approximately 600 people in the Park Slope neighborhood rely on donations every month, so less food on its shelves is not an option. The, the people are very consistent about Coming. It's only, it's only, the formula is three days of food, three meals per person. So, I mean, it's, um, that's not really much food. That doesn't get them through the month very, at all, but it's a little help. Through the 5K run, the pantry met its goal of $15,000, but will need an additional $12,000 to sustain itself for all of next year. We are always willing to accept contributions, both monetary as well as food. Monetary contributions go a little further because we buy our food from sources which give us discounts. Father Thomas Ahern of St. Augustine's Church says the Helping Hands Food Pantry isn't the only one in the borough in danger of having a food shortage. Many people are watching this maybe not are from Park Slope, but I'm sure your own neighborhood has a food pantry, and I guarantee you they need help in some way. If, if not uh, volunteer help, then uh, donations or food itself, but there are a lot of people in need and uh, certainly we want to be aware of their needs. Over in Bay Ridge, Ivy Bakery is taking a different yet colorful approach to hunger awareness. They are going orange. They're a sugar cookie. It's, uh, it's a really tasty cookie. Owner Danielle and Louie partnered with the Food Bank for New York City to raise money for their Go Orange campaign. The orange cookies cost $5 each and all the proceeds go to the food bank. The cookies are just one way she helps raise money for the cause. The first year I actually was trying to collect canned goods for them and that just didn't really work out. I, I know they were having problems with people donating food. So I said, you know, how about I just bake some things and then um, donate the proceeds to you guys. And they thought that was a great idea. So I started doing that. Um, I also did... Um, these Go Orange cupcakes that they gave out, and also uh, I have an annual cupcake eating contest, and um, the next one is going to be April of 2010. For Louie, the specially baked goods are a bittersweet reminder of her childhood. I remember as a kid we would have our little, you know, granny cards, and um, we would go out and um, line up at, at one of the food pantries that was uh, near us, and um, I remember getting like big blocks of, you know, uh, like big blocks of literally cheese and, and, and dried goods and pasta and rice and, and beans. And um, I spent a lot of time eating that stuff. So I, I wanted to make sure that, that there was always uh, organizations or, or programs like that for people that really do need help, you know, in terms of, of just getting basic nourishment. And with approximately 2.6 million New Yorkers who say they may need food assistance within the next year, Fundraising efforts like these will help them when and if that time comes. For Brooklyn Review, I'm Jenny Passe Rodriguez. Brooklyn Independent Television.
on the BCAT TV network.